My name's Alex Larson, uh, otherwise known as Crankshaft, and I'm a musician from Anoka County, Minnesota. Crankshaft is a project that started as a one-man band, uh, like a busking uh, street performing project. It's kind of evolved to now a, a three-piece band. And now she's a mom. She got a big round tan, mini brand. A lot of people listen to music with both their ears and their eyes. And I go up on stage with a suit and a tie and my hair slicked back and we have an upright bass player. And then they get the feeling that it's like a rockabilly band. There are elements of rockabilly in it, but in my heart, I would rather think of myself as a blues guitar player. Barking up the wrong tree. If you take yourself on a musical journey, you're going to find yourself going back to blues music. I mean, whether you start with Christina Aguilera or the Black Keys, which is a lot closer to that, you're going to end up going back to blues music that came from this country. I just went to Clarksdale, Mississippi in April. That's in the heart of the Mississippi Delta. That was a cool experience because it's kind of a community of people that have embraced kind of the lo-fi quality of the original music that came out of the Delta. It was just cool to be, you know, where a lot of what we listened to was born. It was a great experience. I would definitely encourage others to go check that out. It's the place where American music started, and uh, it was fun. It was a good time. Well, I'm a scrap collector man, and my head's in your garbage can. Being from Anoka is cool. I love the country. I love the laid-backness of the country. But I also love, you know, the art scene and the community of musicians from Minneapolis. So I've thought about it you know, about what makes me different from musicians that live in the city. And I think that one of the biggest things is trying to break through to people that are accustomed to listening to cover bands. I think that it's uh, a good lesson at how to, like, break through to a crowd that probably doesn't really care about what you're doing, <laughs> as horrible as that sounds, but it's like, I think that there's definite truth to that. The funny thing about all of that stuff is, is that if you learn how to work a crowd like that, and then you get in front of a really good crowd and do the same thing, the response will be like, will blow you away. I'm really having a good time doing what I'm doing. I feel like I could keep rocking until I'm in my 80s, you know? I want to be Hound Dog Taylor. I want to be uh, playing slide guitar on a rocking chair on stage, you know, with the amp turned to 11. So, I don't know. I'm going to ride it out as long as I can. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.